And I'm warning people that if we keep going soft with juveniles and they're the most dangerous in our county right now, uh, we're going to pay the price. Using broomsticks as weapons, negotiating for chicken wings. Uh, what we're learning about what led to the chaos at Bernalillo County's Juvenile Detention Center on Christmas Day. More than a dozen teens could face new charges stemming from the hours long incident. And Sheriff John Allen is using it to work on decades old issues surrounding protocol at the center. The Christmas Day chaos has cooled off at Bernalillo County's Juvenile Detention Center, but inside Sheriff John Allen's downtown office, things are heating up. We need to stop going soft into pain on serious violent offenders that are juveniles. Footage from inside the center shows them pushing furniture in front of the entrance and yelling at responding law enforcement. Control, three, two, Sheriff Allen shared the new details Wednesday with the promise to work with other leaders on improvements. He says 13 juveniles were involved, all between 14 and 18 years old. Not only did they cover cameras, uh, but they had possible scissors, uh, broomsticks, and other weapons that could hurt not only our personnel, uh, but personnel that worked at JDC. It took hours of work from BCSO's emergency response team, including SWAT team members. Allen says the teens were actively negotiating. So when you're asking for 15 to 20 chicken wings, acting like this is a movie, uh, laughing about it, uh, not being serious with our negotiators, saying they have hostages, uh, that's what we take very seriously. And his office takes it as proof the county needs to implement some serious changes. He says he's looking at protocols now, like how staff can restrain juveniles and guidelines on using force. He'll also be helping to put together a list of requests for the state legislature. I'm warning you, we better stop this. This is why it's out of control here in Bernalillo County. We are now empowering kids that are still there right now as we speak letting them know what they can do and that we're not handling it correctly. Allen says this center is home to some of the most dangerous in Bernalillo County right now, and everyone needs to start treating it that way. Why are we tiptoeing around on that they're juveniles and we have to treat them so lightly? Uh, it's nonsense. Three juveniles got hurt during that disturbance, but Sheriff, Al Sheriff Allen says they've recovered. We reached out to Bernalillo County for numbers on the center's current population and staffing and priorities after this incident. We're still waiting on a response.